High Year 12s, I'm just going to show you how you can use your calculator um, to draw your trig graphs. All right. So first of all, I'm going to go to your graph menu. So that's menu five. OK, and we'll put in, let's do sine. So we'll do sine of x. Execute. Now, if we draw that, it might not look pretty. And that's because we need to adjust the view window. And I'm also just checking at the top, I can see I'm in degrees. So that's what I need. But let's have a look at view windows. So F3. And at the bottom, you can see that one of the options is trig. So you can see that's going from minus 540 up to 540 in steps of 90 degrees. So now, if we draw it, that looks a lot better, doesn't it? Um, I can use it to check what my where it crosses the x-axis. So I do G solve and then root. And I can click my way along through those. OK. Um, I can find out where the maximum is at. So I'll just click on maximum. There's one maximum is at x is minus 270. And the next one's where x is 90. And similarly for the minimum value and so on. OK, um, you could adjust the view window so that you are only looking at the section you need for your question. So, for example, if it asked you to sketch it from zero up to um, 360 degrees, just change the X values. So the X minimum is zero and the X maximum is 360. OK, and so there we go. It's a bit more spread out. Um, if I want to um, find out where it crosses, for example, x is a, y is a half, I would exit and I'd put 0.5. Oops. There we go. And I draw both graphs. And then I can use G solve and find out where it intersects. OK, so it's intersecting at x is 30 degrees and the next one at 150 and so on. OK, um, if I want to see what happens if I transform the graph, so let's see what happens if we replace x with 2x. OK, there we go. So we can see that we've now got, we've halved the period. So it's a stretch scale factor of half in the x direction and so on. Um, I hope that helps.